So now we are going to create a card hover animation over here. So basically we are going to create the simple card along with some box shadow over here. And when the user gets the mouse cursor on this card, as you can see on the right hand side, we are going to animate certain HTML elements with the help of the pseudo elements that we will define inside the external style sheet using the CSS properties. So guys, basically this is the card hover animation that we are going to create. So guys, let us move to the VS code. So now we will create a new folder inside HTML CSS projects. So in this case, we are going to create 08 underscore and then card hover animation as the name of the folder. And then guys inside this, we are going to create two files that is the index.html file and the style.css file as well. So guys, basically we have both these files inside the card hover animation folder and then inside the HTML file, we are going to make use of this event abbreviation in order to generate this HTML template. So guys inside the title tag we are going to say card over animation as the title of the page and we are going to link this style.css file as the external style sheet over here by using the link colon CSS emit abbreviation. So guys basically for the href attribute we have to provide the external style sheet as you can see. Now guys inside the body tag we are going to create the div tag with the class container. So basically we have the class over here for the div tag and inside this div we are going to create another div tag over here and then simply we are going to have the class name that is card and then inside this div tag we are going to have two more div tags. First of all we will have the div tag with the class name over here. So for this we are going to set the name as programming for beginners that is the name of this YouTube channel that you should definitely subscribe if you have not done so and then apart from this we are going to have another div tag with the class role over here and then for this div tag we are going to say youtuber and coder over here so guys basically we have these two statements inside the div tags let me just save this file now and let us see how the changes look like on the browser so we are going to run this live server over here so these are the two statements that are getting displayed over here now guys we are going to provide certain css properties in this case so first of all for the container class let us define certain css properties over here so guys let us provide the width in this case so let's say we have 250 pixels of width and also a height over here so basically we will provide the height of 600 pixels this time apart from this we will also provide the white color as the background color over here let us change the version of the white color this time and let us provide this grayish color as the background color for this particular container class let me just save this file now so as you can see this is the container that is getting displayed let us adjust the height in this case so that we can see the card properly on the screen so we have provided the width of 200 pixels and the height of 300 pixels over here and this is how the card will look like now guys what we will do is we want to get this card at the center of the screen over here so simply we will provide margin as auto value this time so when we save this file as you can see the card is now present at the center of the screen apart from this we will also provide certain css properties to the card class that is present inside the container so guys what we can do is we can simply provide the card class name over here and also we will set the width and height as 100 percent so that the card class takes the entire width and height of the container class over here and then apart from this we will also provide display it is equal to flex and we will say justify content as center so that we are able to get this text at the center of this particular container so when we save this file now as you can see we are getting programming for beginners and then youtuber and coder over here guys by default the flex direction is row over here so what we have to do is we need to make the flex direction as column so that both these strings are displayed vertically so guys over here we will say flex direction it is equal to column let me just save this file now so as you can see now both the text are now present at the center of the container as far as vertical alignment is concerned apart from this we will also provide text align it is equal to center so that we get them at the center of the container as far as horizontal alignment is concerned apart from this let us also provide certain border radius over here for the container class so let's say we have the border radius this time of 20 pixels and also we will provide the box shadow over here so we will provide the blur effect with the color that is black in this case so guys basically we have zero pixels of horizontal and vertical box shadow and we are providing the blur effect of 20 pixels with the black color when we save this file now 
now as you can see it is giving the shadow over here for this particular card let us also adjust the background color over here to some extent so that it looks more decent so as you can see it is now looking more decent over here after adjusting the background color guys as per your requirements you can provide your own background color based on the project requirements now guys apart from this we will make use of the before and after pseudo elements in order to create more html elements over here that will help us in order to provide the hover animation so what we will do is for the card class we are going to create the before pseudo element so in this case we make use of the card class followed by two times colon and then we will say before pseudo element and then guys over here what we have to do is first of all we will have to provide the content it is equal to blank so we provide two times double string over here and then apart from this we also have to set the position it is equal to absolute now guys since we are making the position equal to absolute over here we need to make the position equal to relative for this particular card class so over here we will provide the position it is equal to relative this time and now since we have provided the position equal to absolute for this before pseudo element we can simply provide the top css property as zero and also the left css property as zero so that this new element starts from the top left corner of this particular card and then apart from this we will also set the width as 100 percent over here and also the height as 100 percent so that it takes the entire width and height of the card in this case now guys apart from this let us also provide the background color over here so we will provide a blue version of the background color this time and let us set this lighter blue version as the background color for this before element when we save this file now as you can see the entire card is now getting covered with the help of this before pseudo element now guys apart from this what we have to do is we will provide the transform css property as well in which case we are going to provide the skew over here so we are going to provide the skew by 30 degrees so when we save this file now as you can see this is the skew css property that is applied on this particular pseudo element and let us also translate it to the right hand side so basically for this transform css property after the skew function that we have provided we can simply provide the translate function as well so we will provide translate x and we will move it by 50 percent over here when we save this file now as you can see we have moved it by 50 percent let us move it by 100 percent over here and see how it looks like so in this case we have moved it to 100 person this time so guys in this way we have provided one of the html elements by using the before pseudo element which is part of this particular card class over here now guys let me just adjust the background color for the pseudo element to this particular blue version of the color so as you can see this is the pseudo element that is getting generated over here now guys similarly we will have another html element with the help of the after pseudo element over here so simply i'm going to copy paste these lines of code over here and instead of having before we will say after this time and all the css properties will be same except the skew for which we have to provide a negative 30 degrees so that it is opposite to the one that we have already created so when we save this file now as you can see this is the way that the after element is also getting created over here now guys the portion that is going outside of this particular card we want to hide it so simply what we can do is for this container we can again provide the position it is equal to relative again since it is a container and simply we will say overflow it is equal to hidden so that whatever html is outside of the boundary of the container it will be hidden so when we save this file now the portion of the pseudo elements that we had created which was going outside of the card is now hidden this time now guys apart from this we will also provide certain opacity as well to both the pseudo elements so over here we will provide the opacity css property and let's say we provide the opacity it is equal to 0.7 so that we have certain kind of transparency which can be used in order to display this text when we get the pseudo elements at the center of this card during the card hover animation so guys we have provided the opacity as well of 0.7 for both these cards now guys similarly we will create the before and after pseudo elements for this container class as well but this time we will make changes as far as translate x is concerned so over here simply i'm going to copy paste these lines of code once again and instead of the dot card over here we will have dot container this time 
for both before and the after pseudo elements and then we are going to keep all the css properties same over here except the translate x this time in which case we are going to make it as 85 percent over here so guys basically the translate x for both that is before and after pseudo elements will be 85 percent this time when we save this file now as you can see we have another layer of the same pseudo elements that is getting displayed over here now guys apart from this we can also provide certain box shadow for the pseudo elements that we had created previously so that we can see them properly over here so inside this card class with the before element simply we are going to provide the box shadow this time and then we will have the 10 pixels of box shadow and we will have the color as blue so let us see how it looks like when we save this file now as you can see this is the box shadow that is getting appeared over here similarly we are going to have the box shadow for the after pseudo element as well so when we save this file now as you can see over here we are getting the box shadow this time now guys when we get the mouse cursor on this card we want the pseudo elements to come towards the left hand side over here so what we can do is simply on hover event we can change the translate x css property so guys over here first of all for the card class we are going to define the hover pseudo class over here and then after this we want to change the translate x property for the pseudo element over here so guys simply for the card class in this case we are going to make use of the hover class over here and then we are going to make use of the pseudo element that is before and then what we have to do is we will simply say transform and then we can say translate this time and we will have translate x and it should come to 50 percent over here so guys basically we are moving the before pseudo element by 50 percent on left hand side and then guys similarly for the after pseudo element as well we want the same transformation so we provide comma and then we provide the after pseudo element over here so basically as you can see the skew is getting removed over here so simply what we can do is we can also provide the skew as well so we need to provide it separately so over here we have provided the translate x it is equal to 50 percent and also we will keep the skew as 30 degrees over here and then apart from this for the after pseudo element as well we will again translate it by 50 percent and the skew this time must be negative 30 degrees so over here we can provide the negative 30 degrees as the skew parameter so guys when we get the mouse cursor over here as you can see it is moving now towards the left but guys basically we want the smooth transition as well so what we will do is we have to provide the transition css property to all these pseudo elements so basically we will say transition all and then we will provide 0.5 seconds over here and simply i'm going to copy paste these lines of code for all the pseudo elements so that we have the transition that is smooth this time and then apart from this let us also increase the translate x so that it doesn't go towards the extreme left of the card so basically we are going to keep it as 80 percent over here for both these pseudo elements this time so when we save this file now as you can see this is the way that the transition is happening over here similarly we will provide the transition for the container pseudo elements that is before and after so instead of having the class we will simply say container over here and then we will provide the translate x this time it should be 65 percent over here so when we say 65 so that there is a gap of 15 percent between the pseudo elements of both that is the card class and the container class as well so when we get the mouse cursor over here as you can see we are getting the animation for this particular card over here so guys basically we have the issue over here when we get the mouse cursor on this particular particular pseudo element the other pseudo element is going back to its original position so in order to solve that we can simply provide the container over class for all these transformations that we have provided so let me change that quickly over here so guys as you can see we have the hover pseudo class for the container class over here and then after that we have provided the before and after pseudo element for the card class and also the before and after pseudo element for the container class as well so when we save this file now now you can see that all the elements are now coming together as far as the animation is concerned so guys in this way you can create the simple card hover animation over here based on your requirements you can change the colors as well and then apart from this we can also make some changes to the text that is getting displayed over here so we can also provide certain scaling as far as the transformation of this text is concerned when the user gets the mouse cursor on these cards over here so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video 
video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to create more html and css projects so stay tuned